Hey, what's up, everybody? If you're new here, welcome in. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Roll Shambo, connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. Today, we're talking about the best out the front everyday carry. Now, I know that for some of you, out the front knives are banned due to ridiculous knife laws that you have zero control over. However, for some of us that live in states that do not persecute the ever-loving crap out of us with knife laws, you can every day carry this switchblade. So, is it a Guardian Tactical 3? Is it a Grant and Gavin Hawk deadlock? Is it a uh, SOG? Spoiler alert, it's none of those. In fact, it is indeed a Microtech Ultratech. Don't believe me? I'm going to give you three reasons why. Let's get into it. All right, everybody. So, why is this Microtech Ultratech the best out the front everyday carry knife? Now, before I get into this, disclaimer. I know that there is a group of people that absolutely hates Microtech. Maybe they dislike them because of their business practices and how they re treat other businesses in the same market. Maybe you don't like Anthony Marfione because of some of his other business practices in the past that have also been questionable. For the record, this is not a sounding board for that. I am not trying to talk about drama. I'm not trying to talk about business ethics because between you and me, I don't know very much about those situations. All I have is hearsay. And when I bought this knife, I had no idea about any of that regardless. So yeah, I'm going to let the knife speak on its own merits because this is a knife that has many of them. So let's get into it. This knife has a birth date of February 2020. That is roughly when I started getting into uh, collecting knives. And this was my very first knife that cost over $200. And guys, uh, when I bought this, I thought that I had just picked up some Gucci. I couldn't believe that I had spent as much as I did. I believe that I spent like 275, 285. It's a lot. And it felt like a lot then. And it's, you know what? It still feels like a lot. But knowing what I know now, as far as out the front knives go, based on what they're at now, you know, two, almost three years later, uh, that's not bad. And I think that if I could get this for that same price again, I probably would. Um, you came here for three reasons why this is the best out the front carry. So let's go. First reason why this is the best out the front carry. I want you to consider the biggest, most popular knife reviewing channels out there. Every time they review an out the front knife that's not a Microtech, you will see a Ultratech in that video. You know why? Because this is the measuring stick for which all other OTFs are measured by. You can buy that knife or you can have the knife that it, it, everything gets compared against. There's reasons for that. Speaking of reasons, reason number two. Let's talk about the durability here for a second. You'll notice that this is an Ultratech Spartan style blade. However, you'll also notice that the tip is a bit jacked up. Uh, that happened because when I bought this knife, I had seen a ton of videos of people just using and abusing the absolute crud out of their Ultratex and having it stand up and withstand a lot of damage. And so I was just like, you know, jamming this into things, trying to break the tip. And, you know, lo and behold, there was some tip damage on here. So I felt, started feeling self-conscious and I tried to fix it and grind it myself. Newbie mistake, by the way. Keep in mind, I didn't know very much, if anything, about knife sharpening at the time. Since then, I've tried to make some corrections, and this is about as good as I've gotten that tip. Um, but despite all the abuse that I gave it, 
you'll notice that it's still in one piece and it still functions great. So yeah, the, the durability is excellent. Legendary and Microtech knows it too, which is why they give a lifetime warranty on this. Since I was the one that screwed up the blade, this would not be covered under their warranty, but assuming that they had another Spartan blade type there, I could send it into them, pay them $100, which was the cost to replace the blade last time I checked outside of warranty and get a whole new blade. I've chosen to keep it like this as a reminder, not only because it was my first expensive knife, but also as a reminder that I need to take care of my tools. I need to take care of my knives. Plus, between you and me, I think that it actually still looks pretty cool. Um, even though it's not the traditional style Spartan tip anymore, it still functions really damn well and it hasn't lost any of its usability. So yeah, durability, reliability, lifetime warranty, that is reason number two. And finally, and I did touch on this, the third reason why the Ultratech is the best everyday OTF carry is because of its user-friendly design language. Take a look at this. Aluminum handle scales. These aluminum handle scales are light and rust resistant and they're anodized. And I'll tell you what, I've carried this one a lot. There is not much damage on here. It's light and strong, which means that you can carry this in something like board shorts, okay? I wore athletic shorts today and because I knew I was going to do this video, I actually just popped this into my pocket. And guess what? It didn't weigh me down. It didn't feel like I had a brick flinging around in my pocket. It actually felt nice. Furthermore, on the design language, we have this pocket clip, which is naturally deep carry. This pocket clip is great, okay? It slides in and out easily. It doesn't kill the, the edge of your pockets. It won't rip up your pants. It gets the job done. Yes. It is very wide, but that's okay because it ensures that there's enough pressure holding it in place. And it's not a hot spot. It actually fits really well in the hand. Also, and I know that someone's gonna be like, well, other old OTFs have these features too. Uh, you know, they were the first to really come up with what Blade HQ had termed and coined the podium jimping, which I think is a lame term. But you know what? They caught on to something there. Their buttons are so super friendly as far as deployment, retraction, and it's a double action OTF, meaning that you can open and close it one hand. The blade length comes in about three and a half, just dry three and a half inches, which is going to make it legal as far as blade length is concerned in many states. I am not a lawyer. Do not take legal advice from me. Check your own knife laws, okay? I do not know your state knife laws, but in here in Colorado, it's legal. The design language is perfect. And yes, other OTFs have this button style. Other OTFs have, you know, similar looking handle scales that are made out of aluminum. But guess what? Because this is the yardstick in which other OTFs are measured against, you can thank the Ultratech for that. If you have an OTF that you like better than the, than the Ultratech, you can thank Microtech for that. All those people out there that love the axial shift that I have not had a chance to review yet but would really like to, know this. You would not have that axial shift out the front knife if it wasn't for the Ultratech. So give credit where credit's due. The design language is so good that it's been copied and cloned all over the world with a bunch of different knife manufacturers that make out the front knives. You can't talk about the design language without mentioning materials. This one is M390. And when Microtech does M390 or even CPM204 or CP20 Carpenter 204, uh, they heat treat it to 62 HRC. And guys, I have sharpened this one, even though I shouldn't have. And I can tell you that it is a pain to sharpen because of how well they did the hardness on here. But it's worth it because these edges are razor sharp. 
sharpen it once in a year and it stays sharp for all of your cutting tasks for a very long time. It makes it very user friendly. Now, is a dagger style blade like this great for EDC? Maybe, kind of depends on what you're using it for. But the Ultratech, and this is part of the design language, I know I'm still going on part number three. They have so many different blade shapes. Oh, you don't like the Spartan blade? Guess what? You can get a drop point. Oh, you don't like drop point? Guess what? You can get a regular dagger blade. Oh, you don't like that? You can get a bayonet. Oh, you don't like that? You can get a regular Tonto. I mean, shoot, you can get a Hellhound Tonto. They have like five different blade types that you can get these in. So no matter whether you like this blade shape or not, whether you agree with it or not, you can find the right blade shape. Not to mention they do full serrations, partial serrations, full plain edge. On the dagger blades, I've seen one where one side is a plain edge and the other side is full serrations. I've seen them where uh, you know, both sides have partial serrations and then partial plain edge. The amount of combinations that you get are insane. Notice how I didn't say anything about the fact that this was made in the US of A. You know why? Because it doesn't matter where it's made when you're talking about whether or not it's a good knife to carry. Guys, I've been rambling, but at this point in time, I truly am curious. If you have an OTF knife that you believe is better than an Ultratech, share in the comment section down below because I wanna hear from you. If you think I'm off my rocker and you hated this video and you waited this long to tell me so, pop that in the comments because I will, will drink your tears and that actually helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Guys, thank you so much for watching this far. We will see you in the next one where I will probably be doing an actual full review on the Microtech Ultratech. And at the same time, let me know if there's any knives that you would like me to review here in the future. We'll see you out there.